Oh, nice. Uh, I see a lot of different ones in here. Uh, another Babylon 5 toy. Battle Bots. Ooh, here's a stealth fighter. Okay, Battle Bots. More, more, more. A whole bunch more. Oh, whoa, that had some spring in it. What's this? That does not look like a puzzle box. Oh, that one's really interesting. Whoa, look at this thing. Things are getting interesting now. Okay, there's something in here. Let's hope for magic. Come on, magic. Hmm, look at this. Certificate of Authenticity. Number, it's got a number, 4124. They're still brand new. Skybusters, military. What's this? Something caught my eye. Oh, we found some money. Oh, yes. Titanium series. Oh, man, look at all these. Heck of good, heck of good, heck of good. Oh, my goodness, look at them all. Oh, this looks very interesting. This is pretty dope right here. More titanium series die cast. Fantastic. Oh, nice. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Are you ready for some more unboxing? We're back at my unit. This is where we stashed uh, that big trailer load of stuff that we brought back from the estate lockers. If you're new to the channel or new to the series, here's what we did. We bought six lockers, and they were all belonging to a gentleman that passed away. The family didn't know what to do with all this stuff, so they sold it all to me. Bulk sale, sight unseen. All they did was roll the doors up. We looked at a wall of boxes, we bought it, we took a gamble, and it's paid off big time because this man was a massive collector. They kind of gave us an idea of what was in there, comics, cards, video games, uh, VHS, a bunch of other stuff, and we found all that and more, much, much more. It's been pretty, pretty good. So last episode, we went to the flea market. We sold off a lot of that stuff as well as some other stuff we've been putting aside. This was a good flea market, a little bit higher end flea market than we usually go to. So now I'm back. Um, actually, I've been working for a little bit i unloaded the van all the stuff that didn't sell got unloaded and now we're back here a couple episodes before that we were picking through the boxes and kind of sorting and just going through this locker that's what we're back to do today i still got more boxes what you see here is uh, all the good stuff i put aside over here is the kind of the lower end stuff to go to the lower market back there are boxes that i put aside there those i think are better boxes we definitely want to go through them on camera last time i was here i kind of just started skipping ahead and looking for junk to fill up my truck to go to the dump so those those are boxes that looked intriguing that's what i want to do on camera today but first let me let me clear some of this messiness out the way and then i'll get the gopro strapped on we're gonna have some fun are you guys ready first off let me just let me show you around a little bit i kind of like to do this every time these are tarps that i keep in here when i have my open bed trailer uh Oh, just knock that. This is all metal that I'm sorting. You see like wires, aluminum, stainless, miscellaneous metals here and uh, electronics. Like I said, this is the lower end stuff here. These boxes, a little bit of boxes there. Uh, lower end flea market. These are some boxes I, I looked, I pulled out of here and looked in there and said, hmm, this looks pretty good. Um, at least these, okay. There's some stuff that we already went through over here. This is all untapped. Well, not too deep back there. Some of my personal stuff that I keep in this locker, like the little metal pedal car. I've had that since I was a kid. But uh, this big stack of boxes right here, this is, we have to go through all this stuff, guys. And that's what we're doing today. But um, got some empty can garbage cans to help. I got to clear this table and uh, make some room. All right, I'm going to do that right now you don't have to wait either we're gonna get to it right now all right guys i got it a little bit cleaned up tables clear obviously boxes moved around a little bit let's go and grab something that we haven't gone through yet at least not on camera i think i did open like i said i opened these and peeked in and said Ooh, those, those look a little too good we're gonna have to yeah oh nice um yeah babylon 5 toys oh, okay i don't even i have no idea on value for these okay so this is number 20026 i think exclusive premiere wp wb toy warner brothers toys all right uh, i see a lot of different ones in here nice right you guys are a babylon 5 fan enthusiast whatever Put it in the chat down there. Tell me uh, that you are one of the uh, fans of this show, which I think is long, long gone, right? 1997, these are 25 years old and they look in excellent condition. I'm hoping we can get at least 20 bucks each on these. There's what, uh, eight of them. So 160 bucks, I'd say this box is worth at least 200 bucks, but you never know. These could be 50 bucks each for all I know. If we can look up some values on that and put on the screen, that'd be great. I'll try to do that for you guys. Okay, next up we got these mega blocks. So we did find some of the other mega blocks 
and I'm referring to like those three there. I have a few in the van. I brought them to the market and they they did not sell. Here's what the van looks like right now. But yeah, you see I have a few mega blocks over there. Two different types, two of each, brand new. And I look them up. They don't sell that often, but it looks like 50 to 60 bucks. We were going to ask like 30 in the morning and come down later in the day. I don't think we got one person asked all day. So I'm not terribly impressed with mega blocks. Uh, I thought there was a collector market for it. This one, this one's been used. Pretty cool but um yeah i don't i don't know about that it's only 20 bucks on sale it looks like toys r us oh okay this is good there's a lot of legos funny how he'd put these together too like this right that's how he'd store them i think i'm finding a bag here a bag there and they're color coordinated so like yellow like a bag of yellow and they're all kind of connected up like this i don't know why they do that but definitely makes it pretty tidy some red ones in there yeah pretty cool uh, but legos are great We'll sell those uh, possibly in our live auction. Uh, we'll get a nice big huge lot of them before we do. Okay, Creature Seekers. Mega blocks, a little instruction book. Uh, another Babylon 5 toy, a little different. Oh, look at more toys. My goodness, BattleBot. BattleBot. Huh, that's funny because we found we found wow this is unrelated but game boy in the train locker and one of the three games that was with those game boys was a battle bots game and then here in this other locker completely different owner i mean two hours apart from each other not even close to you know it all related like uh battle bots again but similar ooh, similar periods though these guys collected stuff in the 90s to early 2000s here's a stealth fighter oh big lots 99 cent okay not a not a real high-end piece still cool though still cool Ooh, yeah yeah blackbird and that's me is that the stealth fighter no i think that's the stealth bomber i don't know yeah what do we got over here it's just for fun that's what it says fancy square puzzles okay all right next box next box yes 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 okay battle bots more 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 a whole bunch more right look at look at all these battle bots it's kind of crazy Ooh, yeah look at that nice there's these things too all right i found one loose somewhere else in this locker hmm. right, that's cool front porch chests wooden chest pieces let's see whoa that did not sound good. Sound like I broke it. Playco Toys 3D Race. What did I do? All I did is pull the trigger. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It looks like it's supposed to shoot those discs, but something just snapped. It don't matter. It's going to the play market. I don't know what these are either. It could be Mega Blocks. It could just be parts of, uh, you know, like he's a kind of a hoarder, so he just kept miscellaneous stuff. Mini cards. Square puzzles, Chinese checkers, pocket magnetic Chinese checkers. What's in here? A uh, USB port, four port USB 2.0 desktop. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, just put, like this random low end stuff in there. Look at this. This is a, uh, that was actually, look at that. It's melted to that. How uh, funny. Oh, whoa, that had some spring in it. Man, you barely got to push the trigger too. Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, found gun and storage locker. I got a thumbnail idea, guys. Just kidding. All right, looks like I got everything out except for the battle bots. Oops, no. Wait. Yep, that's battle bots. Wow, pretty big too. Um, and then a couple Star Wars things. What are these? Oh, four for a dollar. Funny. We found. Wow. The box is just coming apart, but we found some of these. We did sell them in our live auction already. A, a set of these Star Wars. Things. I'm not even sure what they are. Four for a dollar it says. I think that was on clearance though. Huh. Planet Cor Coruscant. So eh, anytime we find Star Wars stuff we're happy about it. But BattleBots has me a little bit more intrigued. Hopefully we can look these up and see if we can find a, a price. This is Jack's Pacific. Decent brand. Number 28700. That should help look it up. Let's see if we can put a price on that. And then uh, actually let me pull this big one. Maybe this one's going to be a little bit more value because it does look a little bit more involved. 28860 battle bots all right well hopefully we've got some value there oh i just noticed that box was definitely correctly marked battle bots and miss miscellaneous bills puzzle box dang it i don't want more puzzle we got so many puzzles so many puzzles what's this that does not look like a puzzle box it's got some jingy jingy jingle looks like a jewelry box mm -mm. it's a homemade puzzle does have a key in there. Alright. Boy, it seems like there should be more to this. Is there a drawer? 
What secrets does the jewelry box have to share? I don't know if there's any secrets. What the heck? I feel like that's just veneer that I'm about to peel off. But... Mm -mm. I don't get it. It sure looks like a drawer. That's a drawer. How do I get it open? Mm. What the heck is this? This dude has some weird stuff. There might be a trick somewhere. Doesn't sound like anything's in there, so... Maybe, maybe we'll let that secret stay in the box, all right? <laughs> And the rest of this is appearing to be puzzles. And oh man, we got so many puzzles already. Yeah, we got more puzzles. Okay, next box. This is the kind of stuff I'm saying. Like he keeps empty containers. He just everything, 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 everything. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's not so good. Puzzles. Who said that? Jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> well, there's some neat stuff in here though. This one, nope, I thought it was sealed, it's not. Okay, those are different, like a Rubik's Cube type. This, these are these are neat round pieces and you've got to build them into a pyramid. Very much like what you see on Survivor, the contestants have to do. Ooh, can you turn the lights out? That's neat, an electronic puzzle. So this jigsaw right here looks pretty interesting. Who said that? And then this one right here, oh, that one's really interesting. The world's most difficult 3D jigsaw puzzle. That's really neat really really neat huh 1992 on it okay that's like a 30 year old puzzle i don't know if that means anything at all but it is cool it is cool valuable or not still is cool next box oh man i think it's gonna be more puzzles yep 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 all right fits fits so world's most difficult jigsaw puzzle boy they're all claiming that the prize but can't all be that right this one's another puzzle so we brought some puzzles like this to the um, flea market over the weekend and they actually sold pretty good so i'll probably especially sealed ones like this we're getting between five and ten bucks depending on how big they were um yeah that's it's okay it's not great whoa look at this thing my goodness that is what is this trick lock indian trick lock yeah i don't know that is something weird. Huh. Trick lock, eh? Oh no, we'll stick it we'll stick it in our uh, live auction. Okay. That's something a little different. It's got some weight to it. Makes me think it was maybe a little bit more expensive, but I don't know. The box looks cheap, so maybe not. Next box. Oh, dragon dice, nice. It's just the empty box though. Paperwork. Oh, what's this? May the force be with you. Huh. Comic book Star Wars comic book offer. Dark Horse Comics. Hmm. Some oh Kellogg's Applejack cereal. Okay, so it's cut out from the cereal box. <laughs> like I said, he kept everything, including plastic bags. Look at this: plastic bags in plastic bags. Is that bag collectible? I don't think so. I don't think so. A Lockheed Corporation is kind of neat though. But come on, man, it's just plastic bags. Okay, Warner Brothers plastic bags again. Plastic bags in plastic bags. And more plastic bags in plastic bags. Okay, check this out. Inquest. I found some of these um, before. I don't think we got on camera, but I don't. It looks like it's a division of Wizard. Um, I don't know if there's any value in those inquests. We found quite a bit. Conjure magazine. I found, I think, one of those before too. Oh boy, we got a bunch of these. I don't know if they're valuable. More puzzle stuff. Uh oh. Look at this, guys. Okay, wait. This is magic. We've been waiting to find magic. It's got some weight. I've got some hope. Clear the deck. Clear the deck. Things are getting interesting now. Okay. There's something in here. Let's hope for magic. Come on, magic. Uh, nope. Throwing stones. Get some more dice. That's cool. Another puzzle. Little brass whatever. And this. This is uh, for dragon dice right here. Those bags are for dragon dice, same as that box right there. This, oh, this is cards for the dragon dice. All right, that's cool. We've been selling the dragon dice in our live auction, so that's probably where that will eventually end up. Okay, what else we got in here? Launch, a card game. It came off the thing in there, but it looks like it was brand new. Hmm, that's neat. Okay, this right here says puzzle in wood. It appears to be Japanese because the cover is on the back and it looks like it reads back to front. Uh, just like the manga books, right? But it's, yeah, it's cool. Shows you how to solve these puzzles. Books, puzzle book. Yep. Some mini dominoes right there. 
Hmm, what's this? Looks like it fell out of here, and this is Corbin. And right here it says Michael Corbin. They're little tiny. Oh, they're little um, copies of the cards. We found those card, you know, trading card sets. Michael Corbin's one of the uh, illustrators that he collected. And these are little tiny miniature copies of the cards. That's pretty, eh, I mean, is that cool? I don't know. It is all right. It's all right. What do we got here, though? What do we got here, though? Yes, nice. Batman number 500, and that's actually in really good condition. Shoot, I was hoping there might be some comics in there. Hey, wait, what is what is this thing? Olivia 2. Oh, we found some cards. That's like almost scandalous. Almost. Um, hmm, look at this. Certificate of Authenticity number. It's got a number, 4124. So they're like some metallic cards, and they're like almost inappropriate. Olivia 2. I that's one of the card again, one of the card packs that we found had that name on it. Olivia. Alright, what's this? Space Gamer Fantasy Gamer, the magazine of freestyle role play. Okay. Independent Games magazine. It's all stuff with the RPGs that he played, I think. I'm gonna stick a Batman right in the middle, keep it protected. Well, let's see what else we got. Mouse pad. That's funny. Book, the planets. Alright, that's it. It's a nice little box. But almost got really nice. There's some magic cards in there. Ooh, that would have been way better. <clears throat> oh man, more puzzles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Well, they did tell me that he was a puzzle collector, that he was a game designer, so not surprised to find all these puzzles, but I'm finding a lot of puzzles, yes. Oh, puzzle, Bill. I wonder what's in here. Hmm. <laughs> huh? It's not puzzles. Something different. Matchbox right here. That's good. Matchbox, little die cast planes, Skybusters. Yeah. So you guys may have heard me talk about our live auction saying, well, we're going to put this in the live auction, put that in the live auction. Ah, there's puzzles. Uh, what what I'm referring to there, and here's some more Matchbox. Unfortunately, that plastic's turned color, but they're still brand new. Skybusters, military. And that's the kind of stuff we would put in our um, live auction, right? So we do a live auction on our YouTube channel every, what is this? I don't know what this is. Every Monday, Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Oh, these are puzzles, okay. Uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, and that's only on YouTube, okay? So if you're watching this on uh, Facebook, we don't do it on Facebook, we only do it on YouTube. That's just why I keep saying YouTube. Um, but yeah, we saw a lot of this stuff, especially out of this locker, like all these bins right here, all this good stuff is probably gonna get sorted out, organized, and then sold in lots. Like you see a bunch of dice, see some uh, die cast cars, electronics, cards, puzzles, all sorts of stuff. A lot of stuff from this locker gets sold that way and a lot of stuff from the train locker. Train locker, we love that locker. What's this? Something caught my eye. Oh, we found some money. What is this? Treasury notes. 75 sheets of re very rich note paper. That's pretty dope right there. I like that. All right. This box is empty. Boo. Okay, that was nice. We made a little floor space here. I cleared out a few stacks of boxes. This appears to be a pop-up tent. Yep, yep, yep. And um, we'll probably bring that to the market and sell it. I've got like, I think three pop-up tents right now and then more in the train locker I can see up on the shelf. So a few weeks ago, I went to the market. I sold off two of the pop-ups I've been holding on to. We're gonna let that one go as well. That one's kind of beat up anyways. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Yes. Oh, yes. Battlestar Galactica die cast titanium series. Oh, man, look at all these. Heck of good, heck of good, heck of good. Oh, my goodness, look at them all. I what they all are. Okay, there's a little bit of Star Wars, too. Fantastic. We've been selling these in our live auction. We'll lot up like five or six of them at a time. And uh, good stuff, good stuff. Oh yeah, also I want to make a real quick mention. Um, there was some stuff that we did not get unloaded in time out of the trailer. So I went through that this morning just to clear out a bunch of garbage and I sorted the rest and I put all the flea market leftovers in there, starting to get it organized and packed for the next uh, Stockton trip. Ew, gross, there's a bug in there. <laughs> get out of there, fool. He's on me, see him? Um, so anyways, Dockers, vintage shirt. It, feel, what is this? it feels like wool or something. Linen, cotton, okay. Linen and cotton. I don't know if that's anything, but I found a little bit of clothes. I put that one aside. There wasn't very many nice clothes, but that was a little bit nicer. This is a shoot suit jacket right here. And it's made by Stafford. Is that nice? I think it is. I don't know. It's dry clean, so it's clean. It looks pretty pretty nice, right? 
sure. I don't know what size it is, but it's made in the USA. It usually indicates a little bit nicer. This, look at this, this is super cool. I know you're probably looking at going, what about that is cool? It looks disgusting. It's like a lab coat with some stain on it, but then uh, something's in the pocket. So check out what's in the pocket. Stage blood, Stein's stage blood. So I think he like probably had a monster makeup or something. And that's where the blood dripped off his face onto his lab coat. I think that's cool. There's also some Smarties in here. And yeah, those are probably pretty old. No locker food challenge today, guys. All right, no locker food challenge today. But Stein stage blood, pretty interesting. Not for internal use. How would you, I don't even know what that means. Internal use, <laughs> like blood transfusion, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. And then this shirt right here, which doesn't appear to be like that awesome, but it is again made in the USA. And um, it does look to be vintage and it's got dice on it. So how cool is that? But it, look at this, it's not a button-up shirt. It just has one button at the top, and then it goes down to here. I think that's a little fresh, right? What's, uh, what size is that? I don't know, it says M to L. So between a medium and a large, but it looks larger than that. It looks to me like an extra large, or a double extra large. I don't know, that's just kind of cool. We're gonna take that to the better flea market for sure. Um, it's interesting. Okay, next box right here. This is kind of a large box. And I kind of remember looking in this one already, yes. So check this out. It looks like he bought it and it was mailed to him like this. Let's see what he bought. Remember now, I did say that he was a game designer and obviously a game collector. So he bought like all kinds of different games. And this looks to be an old game. Jimmy the Greek poker dice, huh? I think he may have bought this off of uh, eBay. And that's pretty cool. In one of the recent uh, episodes when I was going through it, I think I showed it, but this game, the game of Boom or Bust, this was also an older game and worth some money. I'll have to check out that Aurora, made by Aurora, Give Me the Greek, Odds Maker Poker Dice. This could have some value. This one is like 80 to 100 bucks. So um, these games, yeah, some of these games have some value. This though, what is this? This looks like it could be something better. Oh, this looks very interesting. Dragon Stripe game. Oh, look at this hyper reality VHS video inside. That is hilarious. Dragon Strike. Mmm. 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 Mm. TSR. Made by TSR. This is pretty dope right here. Okay. Definitely used. Um. Very cool, right? Very cool. There's the the VHS right here. Hilarious. There's all the parts. I mean, I don't know if it's all the parts. There's some neat parts. Oh, this is really interesting too. In the box, I just checked the box, see if I can find an invoice. Um, see how much this is worth. I found this, Boomer Bus. That was in the same box. So it looks like he purchased that Boomer Bus and I was just talking about that. Uh, it looks like he pur purchased that all um, from the same vendor, I guess. I don't know. Pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, here's the sold prices on this game. 46, 28. Looks like you sell the pieces uh, for more. There's 80. Oh. Okay, there's 125. That's brand new. 125 pre-owned, 60 pre-owned, 125 pre-owned. Oh, jeez, it's quite a uh, difference in price. Oh, this one's 30, but no VHS. Interesting. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I mean, we'll ha we would have to look up and make sure every single piece is here in order to sell it complete. That's a lot of time. I don't know what we'll do just yet, but that's definitely a little bit better, and uh, we'll put that aside. We need to take a closer look at this one. This it's just got the cool factor too. Not only is it dragons, which is super cool, it is also TSR, which is super cool. They're the makers of uh, Dungeons and Dragons originally. And you know what? That box is actually in, uh, okay. The corner split right there, but the box is actually in pretty good condition. Pr pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Next. Oh, and if you guys can hear in the background, the, uh, the, they got the cleanup crew here at the uh, facility, the storage facility. It sounds like they're getting closer. They're doing the blowers. All right. There's something that's not impressive. That'll go to the low end flea market. This is impressive. Look at this. More titanium series die cast. Fantastic. Star Wars and Battlestar Galactica. Jack likes. Jack likes it very, very much. Okay guys, a little change of plans, and mainly because the, the gardener, you know, guys, the mow and blow guys, they are coming through here. Uh, they went a different direction, but I know they'll be back, and I know they want to clean, and I kind of want to get it clean here too. So I just decided to throw everything back in, but first, before I did, I pulled out all the good stuff, good stuff meaning stuff for our live auctions and for eBay, and I put those bins here. I'm going to run these over to my other uh, unit, which previously was the train unit, and I'm going to throw those in there so I can keep kind of all the good stuff organized and tight and tucked away 
the uh, the goal here is to get this stuff uh, processed so that I can make this um, not empty but mostly cleared out so that when we come back with the next trip from Sacramento which is where the state lockers are I'm gonna come back with the trailer load stuff it all back in here fill it back up and start processing it all over again so we'll be doing this for quite some time uh, but I think that's gonna be it for right now I'm gonna go drop that off at the other place and then uh, we'll be back here I think tomorrow so I'll get an earlier start tomorrow and uh, we'll pick up where we left off and just just a second just hang tight all right next day and we're back and I told you guys I wouldn't make you wait I didn't so <laughs> A lot of moving and moving and shuffling stuff around behind the scenes in between takes but uh, we're back I've got this thing well it was loaded back up then cleared back out we got some garbage over here but mm, straight path to the back let's get in some boxes let's go okay all right let's get into it uh, this is all stuff gone through I believe I'm not sure about that one unfortunately it's buried but uh, we still got to do all this right here and man you think we could do that today I don't know if we get through it today we could try we could try we'll, we probably won't get through it all in this episode right but um, oh, what's this Got something in star films here heritage house ink oh nice okay there we go nice little dragon i mean it's nothing like super expensive looks like you got an led base there so i bet the crystals light up that's pretty cool yeah i do like that okay we got a box here to take home that, 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 that. see a lot of toys in there we usually just take all those toys and lock them up make a big huge lot for the live auctions sell them in bulk yeah another dragon there's his back all right, I'll probably open them upside down. I don't know. Mystical Dragons Collection, it says. Handcrafted in China. Oh, all right, let's check that out. Money maze. <laughs> Place the money or gift inside. It's got a little fake dollar bill there. And solve the maze to unlock the door. That's pretty neat. All right, more little puzzle games stuff. Eh, not too impressed with any of that. Sorry, I'm just not. A profoundly puzzling puzzle see that three times in fast order okay warning cubism includes small magnets inside of the cubes clubes clue what they misspelled cubes or was that intentional no that's a mistake <laughs> guys i used to be in print advertising so stuff like that usually sticks out to me every now and then i'll miss uh, a typo in my thumbnails or whatnot but usually i'm pretty good hey that's pretty neat that's pretty neat all right it's actually pretty heavy too cubism put that aside i guess i don't know we'll look it up what's this something's happening in here oh it's just moving oh my goodness that sounded like a timer it's like thing rubbing against the styrofoam look at this got some little miniatures here what are these something he bought probably on ebay or something dragon zombie b1-06 96 carat copyright 96 carat what are these little little miniatures probably for some kind of a game system what do we got here oh there's Yu-Gi-Oh! dungeon dice monsters is that what those are a little Yu-Gi-Oh! game huh little counters right here pretty cool okay we'll put that into the take home box little keeper box that was a little bit more interesting here's another one of those cubism cubism Oh wow, look at this. Oh, that's heavy. And look at this. They're all those little these balls. We found one set already and they were small balls. And these are big balls. Okay, no, no comment below about that statement. That was mostly unintentional. Okay, those are pretty cool, but look at this. Got this whole thing full of them. <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, maybe we'll sell these in our live auction. I don't know. I, it was kind of funny. I brought those to the flea market. I found like one set. I brought them to the flea market over the weekend. The guy picked it up and he's like, what are these? And I'm like, um, <laughs> a two pound weight right there. Fitness by design. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look at the veins are popping. Oh, getting a pump. All right. <laughs> we'll bring that to the flea market and we'll bring this home here. It's kind of a random box. Yeah. Planet teasers, brain teasers. Oh my goodness, what am I reading? Brain teasers. Aha, it says, aha. Right. Go to market with that. Big Mac. McDonald's toy from 1993. Holy smokes, it's almost 30 years old. And some little puzzle pieces. Okay, books three. Books three. That is not books. 
No. <laughs> okay, now what is this right here? What is that? Interesting, right? Those look like they were rolled, not like cigarettes like manufactured. Is that a bunch of little mm, roaches? <laughs> I found roaches in my locker, guys. Oh no, oh no. That's pretty funny. Okay, and then we have some, oh, mineral spirits. That's cool. And polyurethane. This is good stuff. This will actually sell at the market. Not for big money, but it'll sell for a few bucks. The roaches, I don't think those will sell. That's pretty funny. Why save those? I don't know. It's a little different. A little different. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's, that's neat. A bunch of those. Hmm. Screwdriver and a whole bunch of bits. Dry out. Moisture and odor remover. Oh, it's like silica gel. And a little... How does that work? Just open it up and let it sit. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. All right. Malaysia. Oh, some scrap metal. Hmm. Parts of a knife right here. And a little bit more metal. Okay. Okay, next box. Titanium's tricorder. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. We got more of these. Oh, 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 oh. we got more of the titanium die cast, but this one's Indiana Jones. That is pretty cool. Very cool. Raiders of the Lost Ark cargo truck. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Here's another one. There's a tank. Volsel's Mark 7 tank. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's all cool, but this, the Indian Jones I hadn't seen before. Here's some Star Wars titanium. The Jedi Starfighter, huh? Looks like it comes in two parts. Neat. This is all titanium. Oh, man. Check this out, guys. Check this out, guys. Star Wars. Oh, my goodness. We have so many. Crazy. Okay, that whole box is full right there. I'd say that's probably... Four to five hundred bucks right here, just in that one box alone. Yes. Oh, look at the, here's from the bottom. We can look in the bottom side. The bottoms, the tapes come off. That's a lot of stuff. Ooh. We've been selling these in our live auction, and I would say we're probably gonna have those in the live auction for months. Like every week, we'll be selling some for months and months to come, and I like that. All right, here's a big old box. It's heavy. Oh, okay. I think we did peek in this one. Oh man. Man, that, that box really is heavy. Okay, so what we got here, got an old uh, keyboard. I, I, I really haven't cracked the code on these things yet, guys, but well, that's funny, the escape button's upside down. But these uh, older keyboards, some of them do have value. I just haven't really figured out which ones do, which ones don't. That one looks like it's in a little bit rougher condition, though. It's missing, it's missing the little flip things. That one's got tape on it. Like I said, the escape button's upside down, but we'll take it to the market and see what happens. I don't, I don't think it'll sell, but this right here, this is way more interesting. So check this out. This is an Atari 1040ST, and it's got a little F, 1040STF Atari. Looks like it's missing a cover or something right there, maybe. Oh, man, this is so cool. This is some vintage Atari when Atari's tried to get, I think, into more of the, comp like, compete with Apple. And, all right, look at this mouse right here. Hilarious. Oh man, that's probably worth some money too. It's got the little Atari logo. STM1. Let's see if we can get some prices on this and throw it on screen. Because that is an unusual find. What is this? Hard disk. A Habba hard disk. Model AHD10. What? Look at that. <laughs> it looks like you threw a bunch of extra stuff in here. Screws and... I don't know. I don't know. I can't imagine that's got too much value though. We'll probably just take that to the electronics recycling. What else we got here? AT, office equipment. Right. Big old computer, I think. Kangaroo Technologies, that's funny. I don't know, this is an old computer. I don't think there's much value in this stuff though. I don't, but the Atari, that, that is interesting. Okay, another big box, what do we got here? I see Babylon 5, that's good. Okay, what do we have here? Good day. Gouda? Oh, Gouda Gouda cheese. All right, got it. Gouda Gouda. Euro games. That looks kind of interesting. Huh. It's like a, it's a board game, an older board game. Just something I've never heard of. Triominos. Seen that before. Avalon 5. This collectible card game. Full of cards, too. Yeah. Cool. That's full of cards. That's full of cards. That's full of cards. That's full of cards. 
Netrunner, ready to play starter decks, and that is sealed brand new. That could be a little better. Tribond card game, the great Dalmut, Dalmuti. Ooh, I saw magic. Oh, from the designers of Magic, Earthquake card game. That's different. I see lots of cards in here. Rush Hour. Uh, we found Rush Hour games already. Oh, so that comes with cards. Interesting. Looks like just playing cards. A couple things of playing cards. <laughs> Some sort of LED bulb there. Whole bunch of LED bulbs. This is heavy. Double twelves, dominoes. Okay. Sealed, huh? Really? You never open them. <laughs> Looks like he bought them online and never opened the box. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that's cool. Nothing too special though. Oh, this is good. Look at this. Star Wars card game. Sealed brand new. Two of them. Light side, dark side. Starter deck. That's nice. This could have a little bit more value. Anytime it's sealed, adds to the value. And we have found quite a few sealed items already in this locker. A couple of, I don't know what that is. Puzzles? Puzzle? I don't know how that works. Okay, these are interesting. <laughs> you paid a dollar for that one. Uh, these are interesting. So, in the past, I had watched other YouTubers and they said that these, I thought these type, yeah, these are called uh, bookshelf games or something like that because they look like books and they're meant to go on the shelf. 1962 right here. Definitely an older piece. I don't know if these will be, um, ah, that's the board. It folds out. Pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. We'd have to see if all the pieces are in here, though, if we're going to sell it. Um, well, there's a bunch of pieces in there, so it's, at least it's got a, a good portion of it, if not all of it. And uh, Executive Decision, 1971. Facts in 5, 1967. And another 92 Twixt. This one right here is heavy. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to look these up. These have some potential right here. These could be worth a few bucks, but I might be completely wrong, too. Yep, I see right here. Bookshelf games right there. So those could be a little bit of money. Okay, next box right here. Mm, games, puzzles, yeah, that's what I meant. N not games, they're more puzzles, okay. And I see that right there, the IPP, International Puzzle, some or others, uh, does those big annual conventions, I think. This one's from Prague in 2008, all right. So you went to these, uh, I think you went to all these big game conventions and bought little games from them, so. Uh, probably some rare stuff here. It's just that we're finding so much of it. I don't think it's terribly interesting to show it all on camera. So we'll put it aside. We'll be sorting those games for some time to come. And selling the games too. We sell them in the live auction. We've been selling like lots of like 20 puzzles at a time. Oh, nice. Ertl, Batman. He's got some little die casts. Are those die casts? I don't know. They might be plastic, but pretty small. 1989 on that. Dang. That, that's a good find right there. Brand new. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Disney Atlantis. Couple more brand new toys. Gosh, I love this stuff. So fun finding the toys. Oh, he's got a lot of toys. Look at that. He's got like probably one of each. They're on sale for 98 cents. <laughs> love it. This guy's shopping the clearance aisles, picking up these toys. It's very smart of him actually. Okay, next box. Uh, my GoPro shut off midway through that box, but the rest of it was all books. So it was nothing exciting. But what I was saying is in hindsight, you know, the guy looks pretty smart for having bought all these toys when they were so cheap. Because they've definitely gone up in value. But the downside is he paid to store them for all these years. So it was like how much of the storage cost, the cost of storage, offset the, uh, the ap appreciation, the gain on his investment. Oh my goodness, look at all these little toys right here. It's hilarious. Huge bag of these. Wow, okay, that's funny. I'll put that in this take home box also. Um, yeah, so my GoPro has been shutting off. It's not super hot right now, especially not inside the locker, but um, the GoPros are notorious for overheating very, very easily. So what I do is I keep my extra batteries in the cooler. I've got a little pouch that's like not in the cooler. All right, here, I'll just show you. Check this out, I've got this cooler and I love this pouch right here because see it sits up above the ice and the water and I throw a couple batteries in there. They get, they're getting a little moist and it's probably not great for the GoPro, but, um, and then I've got my little snack bars there too, but at least it's not in the ice like that. Um, I'll just set them out in the sun for a couple minutes, let them dry off. Yes, they warm up a little bit, but, but it's not like, um, they won't get, even after sitting in the sun a couple minutes, they're still, uh, you know, much cooler than if I just let them sit in the car at the uh, room temperature, so to speak. But it'll heat up. It, it, the GoPro shuts off because of heating up way before it runs out of juice. So the batteries are outlasting the, uh, the temperature. There's just a bunch of paperwork in here. 
There's one little uh, card game right there, brand new. Sudoku type books. Chemical pencils. Uh, mini magnets. Different games. Mickey Mouse puzzle uh, book to tell you how to do it, I guess. Another card game. Okay, what do we have here? Look at this. Chaos dice. Wait, yeah. Trading dice game. Trading dice game. Um, we did find a little bit of these already. They were in with some of the dragon dice. I may not have filmed that. Found a couple boxes of these with the dragon dice. I think it might be similar. I don't know how to play those games, but I think these might be a similar type of idea. Check this out. Chaos dice. Huh. Interesting, right? 1996. Bunch of empty boxes for them. Series of Doom. Wilds of Doom. Dice Master. And we got some loose dice in here. Citadel miniatures, that's cool. Games Workshop. And look at all these dice here too. Pretty cool. We love finding dice, so anytime I find dice, that's a good. Oh yes, more toys. Oh, these ones are dusty though, but so what? <laughs> Whoa, Star Wars Transformers, what the heck? I never knew those existed. Whoa, that's very interesting. This one's been retaped on the back, which is kind of unfortunate. Well, that one is too. Unless that's how they came, I can't imagine that, but look at the dust on that. Ooh, we'll get that cleaned up though. 2005 Lucas film. This is by Hasbro. I don't know if that's the number CO23E, maybe, but it's Transformers Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi Jedi Starfighter. Let's try to look that up and get a price on screen, at least for one of these. But it appears that there are six of them. That is fantastic. Okay, next box. Yeah, more. Uh, Puzzles, right? Cube, Rubik's Cube type puzzles, magic triangle. All right, and then 3D mini puzzles. Okay, so those are actual puzzles, right? These are puzzles like Rubik's Cube type, and those are like jigsaw puzzles, I think. So, All right, that box is okay. Not not as great as the last couple boxes, though. Next one, another light one. Yes, games. Yes, Star Trek. Awesome. Star Wars. Awesome. Star Wars, Star Wars, oh yes. What do we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 micro machines in here. And I would say I'll put a value of like probably around 20 bucks each. So there's like over 300 bucks right here. Over 300 bucks. Dang. I must say the toys is probably my favorite thing to have found in this locker. Well, I don't know. The comics are great too, but the toys are, they're just fun. Oh yeah, look at this. Another Star Wars uh, vintage jigsaw puzzle right here. Yes. 1977 from General Mills. That is probably, I mean, of course, it's open. So there could be missing pieces. Here's another one right here. Um, I mean, it's almost likely, you know, I put, I put my money on missing pieces, right? Here's another vintage Return of the Jedi. So it's probably 83. Yeah, 83 right there. Um, I would say... Oh, another Return of the Jedi. That one's cool. 1983 on that too. Um, now these are neat though. Look at this amazing maze. But those puzzles, I'd say probably 20 bucks each. Right, these are all vintage though. Vintage puzzles. Wow. Look at this one. Frederick Warren and Company. Next. Oh, nope. These are empty boxes. I forgot I put empty boxes back in here. Ah, that's what those are. Okay. Forgot about that. Let's get this one. That's a big boy. Mm, okay. Mm, magic, but this is not the kind of magic we want. This is uh, cheesy magic. We want Magic the Gathering. But oh, look at this though. A bunch of marked cards or whatever. Magic decks. Playing cards. That's good. This kind of stuff. It's like, mm, whatever. Okay, Magic Wands. Oh boy. I wonder if those work. No returns on those Magic Wands if they don't work. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's something better. I see a Harry Potter right there. Let's get that out. Get this magic stuff out of the top so I can get to the bottom. <laughs> More Sudoku books. That's funny. We got so many of these. I tell you what, we're probably going to put those in an auction. You know, just lot them all up, put them in an auction. Why not? Whoa, there's some jumbo playing cards. Dominoes, some little playing cards. Hmm, magic click clacks. Magic, 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 magic. Oh, nice. Look at all these cards. They're all uh, playing cards, right? But they're all magic trick decks, right? There's a blank deck. That's actually kind of neat. I'm going to put that aside. We might do those in our live auction. I'd say those are, they seem like they might be a little bit more valuable. More magic. It looks almost like the kind of stuff you'd find at the grocery store, you know? 
Like on the toy aisle, just really cheap, lightweight stuff. Okay, but this is something better here. Harry Potter. I can read your mind. <laughs> That's cool. Another one. Another one? Wow, he's got a whole bunch of them. I can read your mind. Nice. Okay. We got like we got like six of those Harry Bot Potters. I mean, if we got six of those, there must be at least one that can read a mind, right? At least one of those must work. A little bit more games, lower end stuff. Me. Come on, man. let's see some more Harry Potter. Oh, these are actually cool too. These are those 3D dinosaurs. We found these before. I think I got it on camera, but if I didn't, I did find a whole other batch just like that. Same type of dudes, and we got a whole nother bag here. Probably one of every type. Okay, more magic stuff. Light up dice. That's funny. Oh, nice. More dinosaurs. More of these 3D puzzle dinosaurs. Pretty cool. More of these games. More magic stuff. Here's more magic card decks. I like those a little better. Mystery ball. That's kind of neat. I'm saying I like these better than like these. This stuff just seems cheap to me. Puzzle toys. More games and stuff. And yeah, that's what the rest of it is here. Puzzles and games and corny magic stuff. Alright. Okay, more games. Hmm. More puzzles. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Boy, oh boy. So many. Oh man, guys. I start to get kind of bored of puzzles, to be honest with you. Ooh, that's neat. Can you do hoodoo? That looks old. I don't see a copyright on it. That definitely looks older. So does that. 3D jigsaw puzzle. Tricky Disky. Well, that one's brand new. Nine bucks, brand new. San Francisco Russian puzzle. Neat. Oh, this is cool. Pac Man. Two challenging puzzles. Neat. Oh my goodness. Really, all I did was pick it up. It's falling apart. Yeah, let's see what's in here. It's another one of those nudie puzzles right there. Oh, this guy. It's like another big puzzle right there. Okay. This is another box that he bought and uh, does not appear to have ever opened. So let's open that for the first time, eh? Mm. Puzzle within a puzzle. All right, it's brand new. Nice. <laughs> That's in a pizza box, literally in a pizza box. It's, it's kind of funny. All right, the GoPro overheated again, uh, but the box had nothing else interesting except for this, except for this. So look at that. If you look in there, it looks three-dimensional, but it's a piggy bank, and I think it's a mirror. So it's only half a cube with a mirror which looks like it's a fully open cube, but it is not. I think that's how it works. I forget. But I think the mirror is like this. It's like this. So showing what you're seeing is the back is actually the bottom. Yeah, so you can see yourself there. So anyways, it's a piggy bank. And uh, I think the illusion is that you drop a quarter in there and it disappears. I don't hear any quarters in there, but it sounds like there's something in there. Something banging around in there. So I'm going to see if I could open that. <clears throat> Feels like it's glued shut. All right, we're gonna, we got the solution for that. I've got the perfect tool. It's called the concrete floor. Cube, meet the floor. Oh yes, it did work. That worked. Ah, and there's nothing in there, dang it. All that for nothing, it's just shaking around because it's loose. All right, that was disappointing. I thought maybe there's a bill in there. I was really hoping for some currency. Move my power rate over. Okay, another one looks kind of like the last one. Puzzle Party Stack Ups. Those are International Puzzle Collectors Party. Okay. Oh, 1994. This is probably a giveaway from the puzzle convention, and that one was in Seattle. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Like, a little tiny bit neat. Not very much neat. Just a little bit neat. A whole bunch of labels for the five and quarter discs, or maybe three and a half. All right. Candy. Hmm. Just candy. Do, 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 do. Do 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 gross gross okay and then this is Bayer aspirin but you always gotta check these little uh prescription bottles like this because I have found jewelry inside of them before this time no it's more candy there's a toothbrush what's this thing it's got like a little fish or something on it okay oh there's a little Lego instruction books put those aside and a couple of nice key rings here isn't that what that's for? Key rings? That's pretty cool. Alright, I don't got too high hopes for this, but let's see what's in here. You never know. That's an empty, empty box. Alright. But you know what? I'll take the foam out. The foam... <laughs> I know that sounds kind of hoarderish, but I, I'll actually reuse that foam when I'm packing and shipping. I really will. Okay. 
Uh, that's the empty box, unfortunately. It's a little microscope, but it's not in here. Oh, look at that. All right, that's it. All right, we're really getting back here. Some of this area is my personal stuff. This is one of the girls' keepsakes. This is some baby stuff that I put aside for someday when we have a grandkid. Now we do, so I got to get those sterilized. Some awnings and stuff, but, but these puzzles, 3D sculpture things right here, these are from the locker, and these are kind of neat. The Darth Vader especially, and there's a C-3PO. I got to look those up, um, but probably these might just go to the flea market or they'll go on eBay. I don't really know, but there's a couple uh, vintage pieces down here, an old cooler, an old thermos. Yeah, some of that stuff's from the locker. Let's see what's in this one. Mm, already not too impressed. That's neat. Wish if we had the pot to match it, that'd be really good. Right. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. Marlboro. Nice wood box here. Very, very nice. Okay. Poker set. So chips, cards go there. <laughs> He keeps some funny stuff. I mean, I don't know why. That's kind of neat. Look at this typhoon. It looks like it's a bubble bubble maker. Is that what it is? Dang, that looks look, that looks like it'd be a lot of fun right there. Drop the bubble solution in there. Is that what you do? I don't even know. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's. Dang it. I think he was diabetic. I think I saw some other stuff that suggested he was diabetic. Definitely got to be careful with these. Oh, that's a bummer. Triangular bandage, okay. Ironic having those two in there. Yeah, zip ties and a couple little yeah, RC car, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That's a super soaker there. Alright, that's cool. Oh, this box is heavy and I see knife on here. Copper pans, small knives, and blue cut BO. BD, I don't know. Nope, it's not any of that. It's none of that. Okay. But this is cool. Star Trek blueprints. Nice. Whoa, I'm not even getting on camera. Oh my goodness. Star Trek blueprints in these little packets. Those are neat. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Dungeons and Dragons, guys. Dungeons and Dragons. Campaign hexagon systems. Okay, that's just like paper for Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, 1977. Wow. This is not a TSR thing. This is something different, but definitely an older piece. I think that's cool. Very cool. Look at this. More blueprints for... Well, what's this? Freighter? I don't know. That's Star Trek, but we got a lot of Star Trek stuff here. The Dreadnought blueprints. Spacecraft blueprints. That's not Star Trek. That's just spacecraft in general. And then we got some uh, more books here, but there's another Magic the Gathering. I'm going to pull those out because we have a couple of those at home. We'll add that to the lot. Oh, look at this. More blueprints type stuff. Huh. Sample copy, not for sale. What is this? Caracal Cruiser Class. I don't know what this stuff is. This is a little different. 1981. And this letter goes with those blueprints. Professionally drafted science fiction related blueprints. I am myself am a draftsman. Highly interested in science fiction and Star Trek in particular. These are like some homemade blueprints that we bought. Look at this, from Star Station Aurora in Massachusetts, and it is dated 1981. How funny is that? Wow, okay, is this all blueprints? My goodness, this is all blueprints, maybe? Yikes, this is good. Yeah, construction plans. USS Inter Enterprise construction plans. This is kind of crazy, and I say that meaning only positive things, right? I mean, crazy good. Crazy interesting, crazy different. And this is, guys, is this not a, a cool set of lockers? I know we didn't buy this at auction, so it is a little different than what we normally do, but the fact that we bought this sight unseen through an estate purchase, um, what is this? Oh, this is so weird. This Essex is the name of the book that this guy was working on. Oh man, I don't know, this is some, just some old, look at that. Interesting, right? Um, Klingon scout vessel, more blueprints. I think we'll be taking a bunch of blueprints and putting in the auction. In our live auction, I mean. Look at this, blueprints, 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 crazy. So many blueprints. For uh, anyone who's into this kind of stuff, 
I mean, this is this is a score, right? Look at that. So cool. Klingon scout vessel. This is a really interesting. I think you know what? Actually, we have found some like this before. This is six ninety five, brand new. We I think we sold some of these in one of our first live auctions after getting into this locker. Yeah, our lockers. Uh, yeah, it's actually been, uh, I don't know, five or six weeks now since we first started selling stuff from it. And I had almost forgot. Yeah, I've seen this kind of stuff before, but this time we found way more. All right, you guys. Well, I think this video has probably gone on longer than it should have, actually. Uh, we've gone through a ton of stuff between yesterday and today. So I'm going to cap it right here. I'm not done digging, actually. I feel like I'm just kind of getting started. We have a lot more to do. I might be able to finish this today, but we're not going to finish it in this episode. You'll wait till the next episode. Uh, don't worry, I'll have it out in a couple days, but um, <laughs> we'll pick up where we left off. The the urgency for me to get through this is because I plan to go back to Sacramento next week. That's where these lockers are. It's about two hours from me. I'm going to go back there next week, so I really want to make as much room in here as I could. Also, I want to hit the flea market early next week to get rid of like all this kind of stuff, and I have stuff in my locker also. I want to get rid of that stuff and uh, make it sold, make it go away make some room so when we bring in the trailer it'll be a full trailer again we have more than one trip so we got probably two trips one full maybe one half full trailer load still to bring home uh, but I got to have room to unload it when it gets here so anyways that's really what this is about is trying to make some space I have room in my other locker but I just I got to be careful with having too much stuff jamming up uh, I have to actually access my unit. So I am getting organized. It takes time. Probably this more organization and more time spent on this part of it than a lot of guys do. A lot of guys are just like super fast process, rush it to market. I do a little different. I really like to enjoy it, go through it slow and kind of find out about the owner, just get a feeling for the guy and um, what he's into and learn about some of the stuff like those blueprints and stuff. We've never found that ever before. And this guy just has massive quantities of it. So the same with the puzzles and stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. We bought six lockers. It's been quite a few episodes already and we've got quite a few episodes to go, but I do want to get to the train locker. We'll be getting over there um, maybe next week and do a day digging in that too. I still have that second train locker, which I don't even think I'm half through that one. We have so much more to go, um, but yeah. A lot of good stuff going on. I hope you are enjoying what you see because that's what we do and we're going to continue doing it, all right, in the next episode, which will be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock of Nuts. All right, now I'm going to go put this camera in the cooler for a few minutes. A bunch of toys and stuff in here. There's a Burger King or something. Transformers, Happy Meal, Sesame McDonald's, and Toss Up. All right, cool. Toy Story. Oh, wait, what's this?